Hi everyone, welcome. This is Yvette and I'm over at yvettecarillo.blogspot.com. I have a video today explaining Copic markers. Actually, I'm going to be having a series of videos, I should say, uh, explaining Copic markers. Lots of people have been asking me in regards to Copic markers. Um, I am a certified Copic instructor and uh, recently I've become a co-moderator over at Your Paper Pantry dot, uh, what is it, yourpaperpantry.ning.com um, Thanks to Roxy, I talked to Roxy about that and I've become a co-moderator along with uh, Mickey over at Your Paper Pantry. But anyway, this series is going to be in regards to why Copics. Uh, explaining a little bit more about Copics, the different Copics that are out there, um, how to use them, uh, how to choose them, what paper to use, what stamps uh, to what stamps work best, what uh, stamp pads to use, so on and so forth. So if you have any questions throughout this series, you can go ahead and leave me a message or personal message me here on YouTube, and I will try to answer your questions on my next video. So. To start off with, there are about four different styles of Copic markers, and I'll explain them to you. So, first of all, there is the regular Copic. I have a um, bin of about 36 colors, uh, probably a little more because I pick out, picked out a few here and there that I tend to go for. Um, and in these markers, basically, it's a square marker. So, as you can see it there, it's square. Uh, the name and number are labeled at the top and bottom on the caps. These come in uh, an entire assortment. There's like 322 different colors that, in these. Uh, the reason I like these is because they have a fine tip point, and I love this for detail work, especially in the warms. Uh, they have these in cool and warm colors in the grays and this works really well for hair when you're trying to get like little bangs in there and things like that this works perfectly that's one of the reasons I like this particular marker and of course you can write with it and let me show you so that's the fine tip and then the other side has a chisel so you're gonna find that this one has a chisel at the end and a fine tip so that's one of the reasons, like I said, that's one of the reasons I like these. Um, different people, you know, everyone has a different style and they, they might like the, these for different things that they do. I understand that manga artists likes, like these a lot because of the, the tip on that. Then you've got the sketch marker. I love the sketch marker. Sketch marker has a chisel end, the same as a regular marker and it has a brush end. And this brush end is so versatile. I mean, just by itself, without having to buy a stamp and do anything with it, you can, I'll show you. So, for instance, you just take your marker and as easy as that, you, you just press down on one side and press down on the other, press down on one side and press down on the other, and there you've got, you can either make that a butterfly by ad adding antennae right here, or make a flower out of it. Just this particular uh, brush end is extremely versatile. So I love to use this marker. It's my favorite. I have every single color of this marker. Um, like I said, they come in 300, I think it's up to 322 colors, and I believe I have every single color. I, I'm just in love with this particular marker. And then you have your chow marker. I have a few of these that I've gotten in different trades and things like that. Um, I tend not to buy the chow marker, not because it's any different, not because of the coloration. I just don't like the reason the, that the um, chow does not label the color on top. And then when you have them standing or in your, if you have them in your, um, cubby or wherever it is that you hold your markers you can't see the number you have to pull them out to see the number and um, that's the only reason why not, why I don't like this particular marker there's one more reason also I'll explain that in a second so um, 
getting to this one. So the number is on the side and this has a chisel end like I showed you on the other markers. And on this end it has a brush end. So again, you, it's extremely versatile. Um, beautiful coloration, it's the same, same ink in every single pen, it's just beautiful. I just don't like the chow for number one, like I said, it doesn't have the number labeled. And number two, you cannot use this. Um, Copic Markers has a um, airbrushing system that you can use. And I have recently acquired my airbrushing system. And this particular pen, you have to um, pry it in there with um, some paper towel or, or something to hold it into the gun. As opposed to your sketch, fits in there just naturally. It just goes in there and you don't have a problem with the airbrushing system. So that's one of the, uh, that's the second reason why I don't like this one. But um, as far as cost, this is the most cost effective because it is the cheapest of the, uh, of all three of the markers that you can get. So, um, so that's the uh, third marker. The fourth marker would be the sketch, uh, excuse me, the Copic Wide. So these guys have a chisel end, and it's huge. I mean, this one is humongous, as you can see. And I love these when you have a lot of area to color in, or if you want to color in a lot of area and do a plaid or uh, different things. Like for instance, if you get one of the um, uh, dark reds and you mix your own colors, you can um, put this down and then make a brick wall for say. Um, it's just a beautiful marker to use. Th these are the wide markers and um, like I said, uh, they, they just work really well. These are also marked at the top, as you can see there. This is YG03 and it's a beautiful marker to use. So those are the four different kinds of Copic markers. Copic also has something that's called a multi-liner and I've got two here for you and basically I use them in um, this multi-liner is 0 .02 and this is waterproof and it's um, pigment ink and it's a super fine line on these so for instance when you stamp your images let's say there was a part of the image come on camera focus for me a part of the image